Thank you everybody for attending this session on the SAGE 300C enhancements. Today we will be going over web screens and the modern interface that SAGE 300C offers. We'll be looking at the dashboard view and quick help. We will look into utilizing and capturing notes. Notes are only available in SAGE 300C. We will also be looking at processing customer payments faster using credit cards. We'll also look at the user personalizations and we'll end off with Sage Intelligence Reporting. So to get started, we are currently logged in to the Sage web screens. I am currently logged into the home module here and on this screen it shows us our different dashboards. We call these widgets. And these widgets are providing us data within our Sage 300 that we're easily able to graphically report on. And it gives us that crisp look that we are not able to get out of the Sage 300 client install. So if I go to that as an example, this would be what my home module would look like. So as you can see, it is much different than this web interface. In addition to that, we also have this quick help. And in the quick help, we have easy accesses to finding out how to quickly add a new widget to the page. So if there's one that you're not seeing here, if you'd like to add a new one, you can go ahead and use the help and be able to quickly find out how to do that. So you don't need a developer to create these widgets for you. You can also utilize the Sage University or contact support. Sage University will be different types of courses that you can take for training and contacting support if you have any technical support issues. The next thing that I want to review is capturing notes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into accounts receivable and I'm going to go into customers and as you can see still using the web screens these look different than what the client install looks like. Again giving the opportunity to get to information quicker and not have a standard screen um, where it is almost like it is an image. So if I look at AR customers here as an example, I can quickly type in my customer number and hit tab, and it's going to populate that information about the customer. As you can see quickly, the notes have already shown up. So it's telling me that there's an important note about this customer. These notes are completely up to your business in terms of what types of notes you want to write. You could use notes about talking about how you may not want to have a customer on hold for payments, but you do for any orders. So this note can come up. It can be available to appear within the customer or even when we go and do an order entry. So I'm going to show you that later. Going back to AR customers here, a nice screen that they've offered is, as I was mentioning with the Sage 300 on premise, it is an image that you're going to look at. So if I go to customers, same way we just did there in the web, here is my screen here and I can still add in that customer 1200 and it will fill in the customer information and I have the tabs as we're used to. In the web, Instead of having an image, we are able to scroll up and down, which again, for new technology, especially when you're using any type of tablet or mobile device, scrolling is much more important, as you can tell with touch screens, than an image. It's very difficult to try and put in, capture information within an image. You have to constantly zoom into the screen and put that information in. So they've made it so that it's much faster to add that data. However, they still have the same tabs. So not much has changed there in terms of the information that you have, but, um, but again, the scrolling technique is uh, much more user friendly. So talking about notes, we just saw that again with customers. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to see that in order entry about this customer. So I'm gonna go into order entry. I'm going to go into OE transactions and we are going to create an order entry. Again, here I'm going to have select my customer number.
and I'm going to go ahead and add the lines. Again, same functionality that we have within the client, but again, just a nicer screen than what we are used to with the Sage client. I'm going to go ahead and select the first item here. And right away, it tells us this is this item has a rebate for X period. Again, this is specifically talking about this item. It's not referencing the customer at this point. It is now referencing the item. So you can see how your notes are being utilized in different fashions here. One about the customer that you may want to put them on hold and another within inventory items where there might be an issue with an item or a rebate as we see. Now what I want to show you is processing customer payments faster. If we go back to our customer setup, so again, back to accounts receivable, into customers, and we go to the credit card tab, a new functionality that they've offered here is that you can have multiple credit card numbers, which you've always been able to have, However, if I go into this Visa option and I open this card, I have a setting on here, again scrolling down, that it is approved for automatic payments. So when I want to go and run a payment batch for credit cards, it will find this credit card if there is an invoice to be paid by this customer and it will automatically apply this credit card and it will settle the payment right then because it is for automatic payment. So again, nice quick way of making sure that you've already got the credit card information and that that processing isn't going to slow down. But when we want to go ahead and process the credit card, if we go to accounts receivable and we go into transactions, I have an option here for process credit card payments. In this process credit card payments, I can set criteria for certain customer numbers, a customer group, or maybe a particular item um, in terms of an invoice that you want to process. So you can apply those filters. When you apply those filters, if I use my customer 1200 that we are picking on, I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And any type of credit card um, payment, so again, we, we know that he had the automatic payment for release. And these are all the credit cards that this cus or sorry, these are all the invoices that this customer has on file. Buy this, and we go ahead and we hit process payments. If I go into my administration services here, I can go into customize navigation menu. The nice thing about this is that I can remove screens or remove um, certain types of transactions or reports that I may not need to see on um, an every time basis. So for example, in the States, we use 1099s, but in Canada, we don't. So you may not want to include that to show on your screen. So it's quick personalizations going through each module, every area within the module. So it's almost um, similar to when you set up security roles and you have all these options, but now this is just for your own personal user of the areas that you would like to see with each module. The other option that we have is that we can change customer labels. So if I go into my customers again, and I go over here to my options and I go to customize, I can actually replace the name with a different text. If I don't want it to say customer number, for example, I can have it be replaced with a different name. So now you're able to personalize um, labels like you were not able to do before. And lastly, we still have the ability to edit columns. Again, in our Sage client, we always had the ability to hide columns and move columns. 
but each one required a right click, hide, or drag and drop. In this case, now with the web screens, we can just unselect the areas that we may not want to see that data. And we can also, when we click on the field, we can also drag the field around as well. So that's moving the information around um, rather than having to do each one independently. So it's, it's faster again. And lastly, we are going to spend time quickly reviewing two different types of SAGE intelligence reports. The two reports that we are going to look at in SAGE intelligence are our income statement and an inventory master, both of which are available out of the box with SAGE intelligence. The nice features about Sage Intelligence, again, is it's utilizing Excel, gathering data from SQL database, and putting it into Excel in a way that we're able to slice and dice our data using pivot tables. In this example, we have our income statement. It is divided up into different areas. So again, based on setups that you have within your business, we can have different regions. We can also run a report based on regional, which is one of the segments in the sample data, or divisional, which is also another financial segment in SAGE 300. So we have two different income statements to report on both areas. Another nice feature is the drill down feature. So if you're in an area where there is a value, you can right click, drill down, and this will bring you to the values that make up that total. This allows you to be able to see exactly what that transaction was, when that transaction was, without having to go into Sage 300 and run your transaction listing report to look at the specifics within each account. So that is a great feature. Anybody who's used to Excel will also appreciate a table structure. This data is only giving us four lines of data, but you can imagine that yours would probably have more. And so to be able to use the table format from Excel will help, again, to slice and dice that data much quicker. The other Sage Intelligence report is the Inventory Master. And this report is giving you full information about your inventory. So in this case, our item number, what locations it is present at, the cost, costing unit of measure, whereas there's also the stocking unit of measure, giving us some transactional information based on POs and sales orders, and it also gives us our recent average uh, costing as well. Thank you for taking the time to review this demonstration with us. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Burnett Services. Thank you very much.